Hey beauties, good evening to you. All right, beautiful people, I, what I'm about to talk about, I'm going to give two opposing views, you know, something basically polarized. And uh, I think it is something that many of us as Jamaican people, we really need to take stock of and see how best we can now contribute to our country in meaningful ways. Don't look to politicians because really and truly only maybe, I can't even say a handful, maybe fingerful <laughs> will really or who genuinely care about the people of Jamaica, not even a handful. And this is in light of the Denham, Towns, Denham Town High School. And it sort of broke my heart when I was listening to the kind of backstory of where the school is, sort of where it is coming from, but where they're still struggling. And, you know, some of the, you know, they were interviewing a particular teacher, you know, who is in special education. And I think it was an acting principal as well. They were interviewing both ladies, both women. And a man came on afterwards, I guess a teacher and so on. But... You know, it was the reporter was basically narrating and saying that some of the students read below the basic school level. They're at or below the basic school level in reading. And in my mind, uh, I, I'm assuming basic school is like, I mean, I went to kindergarten. I'm, I'm thinking they're the same. I'm, I'm not sure how basic school goes, but I'm wondering if it is like being at the kindergarten level. So you're now going to the whole business of phonics learning literacy so they're teaching you because you would have passed you know certain uh sense of motory way of learning like about colors and signs and so on you know as babies they can pass that you know when they have a little baby say stop sign orange red and you know these little things then you know go into the whole business of full now uh you know the whole foundation of I mean, learning literacy really begins once the baby's born and you're talking to the baby and saying words to them and teaching them. But you know what I mean now? Learning how to read and write. Let me put it that way when I say learning lit literacy, being you know, phonics, learning to read and write and making the right sounds and so on according to the word. And uh, beautiful people, you know, when they were demonstrating, you know, how they read at the school, I said, this is so unfortunate you know i remember they were showing one particular boy and they had like a four letter word and like the way how he was calling it i said wow you know that was that's like a child just learning how to read just learning how to read and i said this is sad remember it's a twofold argument i'm going to present here and i said in my mind i'm saying i know that when you reach a certain age you probably don't want to have a child in the prep or primary school, uh, you know, if I'm, <laughs> it don't, it probably doesn't even make any sense to say create a special education school, educational school, because if these schools are not even properly manned, especially the government ones, can you imagine the special education school? They probably would get lost in the system and remain illiterate, unfortunately. And uh, I said to myself, what are we doing as a people? I see that we put a lot of time. I mean, yes, we have choices, but it is so sad that look at a school like that. That is basically the worst performing school. And the, you know, I suppose as, as principals, as the, as the administrators and teachers, they must feel so bad to know that, boy, look, we're doing our best and we're still at zero, you know, <laughs> on a scale of one to 10 at zero. And I'm, I'm saying this not in, with pride or joy, you know, but with deep sadness to know that this is what is taking place at a high school, that they have to be teaching them the basic phonics, learning, literacy, a stage that they should have passed many moons ago, many moons ago. And this is predominantly on the parents, not so much on the school administration, predominantly on the parents. Predominantly on the parents. Many of them decided that they will not invest properly in their children. They take their problems out on the children. The children, they don't take proper food to school. They don't have proper nutrition. They're exposed to gang violence, gun violence, and all manner of evil. 
plus what they face at home. They're not shown affectionate love like hugs, touch, kisses, saying you're special, I love you. And we guise it under, I didn't know, I didn't get it, so I don't know how to give it. Even with the advent of social media and you see how other, you know, good parenting or good parents operate with their children and they now go out into the society, maybe becoming social misfits, maybe. And it breaks my heart at this stage, the teacher has to now change her routine, change the curriculum and teach as though she's at the basic school level. Because this is, they pass through the system. I don't know what they went through. I don't know which school they went through. And the teacher probably said, why? If them want to learn, them learn. If them don't want to learn, them don't want to learn. I'm only saying those words because that, that's the only thing that I can conclude. My argument can be valid. It may not be sound. But think about what I'm saying. If at the high school level, they're reading at or below the basic school level, who would not come up with a conclusion, a judgment like that? would not and we're here fighting wars not even rumors of wars with each other tearing down each other making a mockery of each other and these students are at the mercy of life they're like balancing between life and death so to speak mentally physically emotionally psychologically and in particular educationally reading bill at or below Basic level, not even primary or prep. Broke my heart when I saw that. Broke my heart. I could be hardly believe. I shouldn't be surprised. Because sometime, I, last year or the year before it came out in the newspaper, that a particular high school, high school students were reading at grade four level or below. So we see the crop that is being produced in today's day, in today's generation. Notwithstanding, I need to give credence and, and high commendations to the teacher, that special ed teacher that's trying. At least you're moving them from zero to even one or to two. And you're taking the time, you know, where it says 45 students have improved and you had broken that, that down. You know, where some are a little bit above now, they're at basic level, some probably at the primary level. I didn't hear, it. they're probably not yet at the high school level, even though they're in high school. But at least there is movement, there's upward mo uh, mobility. There is upward mobility, thank God for that. And I will bask in that, that is an improvement. It's not a regression. But as a people, we need to take stock. I remember some years ago, Betty Ann Blaine, the great Betty Ann Blaine stated that whether you have children or you do not, invest in at least one child. One child that you know, you know, is not necessarily doing well. Or maybe they're doing well, but they don't have the wherewithal. And you help. Had we just followed that methodology, had we employed that methodology permanently in our own lives, Jamaica would be vastly different and the money would come you know you know god would somehow provide the money i know sometimes people say boys because i don't but you know when you want to invest in children a set of people that god just has a love for children i feel the money would have come he would just provide we have failed our children we have failed our children to know that in this 21st century with the advent of not just ai, AI you know but just technology and more knowledge, advancement. And children are at a high school that are reading either at the basic level or below. And the ones who have improved, they're at primary level in a high school setting. In a high school setting. My heart is saddened. That we have just focused on the wrong things. We praise and we laud bad mind. We praise and we laud envy and jealousy in malignant and malicious ways. We praise and we laud disunity, discord, tearing down each other, lying on others, causing others to hate others, lasciviousness, debauchery, all these evil, instead of helping our children. Oh, what a web we weave. 
Guys, follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please share this message.